Number 11. Yvette goes to the local bank to get $20 in quarters, dimes, and nickels to use in her restaurant. She gets twice as many quarters as dimes and 10 more nickels than dimes. How many of each type of coin does she get? Well, first, she gets quarters, dimes, and nickels. We get twice as many quarters as dimes. So twice means two times. So two times D. 10 more nickels than dimes. More means add. So we'll do 10 plus the number of dimes. We know that their cost should add up to be $20. Well, quarters are worth 25 cents. Well, we have two D of those. Dimes are worth 10 cents. We have D of those. And nickels are worth 5 cents. And we have 10 plus D of those. 0.25 times 2 is 0.5 D plus 0.1 D. 0 0.05 times 10 is 0.5 and then plus 0.05 D. We can combine like terms. 0.5 plus 0.1 is 0.6 plus 0.05 is 0.65 D plus 0.5. We can subtract out the constants. 20 minus 0.5 is 19.5. That's going to be equal to 0.65 D. Divide by the number in front of D, the 0.65, and this gives 30. So, the number of quarters is 2 times D, so we have 60 quarters. The number of dimes was just D, so we have 30 of those. And the number of nickels is 10 plus D, so 40. Number 12, Ben is taking calculus for management, a class in which four tests are given. To get an A, he must average at least a 90 on the four tests. He got scores of 89, 93, and 88 on the first three tests. So what is the least he should score in the last test to earn an A in the class? Well, on average, we take everything, we add it up. So 89 plus 93 plus 88 plus our missing fourth test. And we divide by the number of items, in this case, four. So we want our average to be at least a 90. So it can be greater than a 90 or equal to. The first step to this is to multiply both sides by 4. So on the left, we're left with 89 plus 93 plus 88 plus x. On the right, 4 times 90 is 360. 89 plus 93 plus 88 is 270 plus x greater than or equal to 360. We'll subtract 270 from both sides. And that gives us that x has to be greater than or equal to 90. So he needs a 90 or higher on the last test. Number 13, the number of calories K needed each day by a moderately active man who weighs W kilograms is H centimeters tall and is A years old can be estimated by this formula. So Jerry is a moderately active, he weighs 94 kilograms, is 190 centimeters tall and 52 years old. So what are his caloric needs? Well, we just stick things in. 19.18 times his weight, which is 94, plus 7 times his height, which is 190, minus 9.52 times his age, which is 52, plus 92.4. So the first step is always the multiplication. This gives 1,802.92 plus 1,330 minus 
495.04 plus 92.4. At this point, we'll just need to work things out. And once we add everything up, we get 2,730.28 calories. Part B wants us to solve the formula for A. So, we'll start by subtracting things over. We want to get the A by itself. So I'm just going to subtract things over one step at a time. So I'll start by subtracting 19.18W from both sides. So K minus 19.18W is equal to 7H minus 9.52A plus 92.4. Subtract the 7H from both sides. I'm left with K minus 19.18W minus 7H is equal to minus 9.52A plus 92.4. Subtract 92.4 from both sides. Now I have K minus 19.18W minus 7H is equal to minus 9.52A. So at this point, I have the A by itself. I just need to get rid of the number in front. So I'll divide both sides by negative 9.52. And it looks like I forgot to add in the minus 92.4 here. So my final answer, K minus 19.18W minus 7H minus the 92.4 all over negative 9.52. And this will be equal to A. Number 14. The perimeter of a rectangular photograph is 36 centimeters. The length is 4 centimeters greater than the width. Find the width and the length. So I'm going to start with drawing a picture. We know that this is a rectangle and we're looking at the perimeter, which is found by 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The only thing we really know about this is that the length is 4 centimeters greater than the width. Greater than means addition, so 4 plus w. The perimeter is 36, and we know that the length is 4 plus w plus 2w. So 36 is equal to 8 plus 2w plus 2w. Combining like terms, 2w plus 2w is 4w. Then we'll subtract the 8 over. 36 minus 8 is 28 equal to 4w dividing both sides by 4 gives 7 is w. So the width is 7. What about the length? Well, it's 4 plus w, so 4 plus 7. So the length here will be 11. Number 15. The instructions for a woodworking project call for three pieces of wood. The longest piece must be twice the length of the middle size piece and the shortest piece must be 10 inches shorter than the middle size piece. If Maria has a board 70 inches long, how long much east piece each piece be? So she has a board that's 70 inches long. And we want to break it up into three pieces. A long piece, a medium sized piece, and a short piece. 
We know that the long piece must be twice the length of the middle piece, so twice as long as the middle, 2 times m. We also know that the shortest piece must be 10 inches shorter. Shorter indicates subtraction, so m minus 10. And these should add up to be the entire length of the board, which is 70. 2m plus m plus m is 4m minus 10 is equal to 70. Adding 10 to both sides gives us that 4m is equal to 80. And dividing by 4 gives us that the middle size piece should be 20 inches. The long piece is twice this, so 40. We've already said that the middle piece has to be 20 inches. And the short piece has to be 10 inches shorter than this. So 20 minus 10 is 10.